Each of the following geology maps is followed by an image of the hole that was dug, the materials extracted, the nature of the supplier on a number of different jobs and sites. Most of the jobs which used site materials also had a site investigation and report which is invaluable in understanding what materials are present and the depths they are available. Initial understanding of the materials available at site or in the area comes from soils maps, place names and local use. Soils maps have a key which relates to geological terms which can be better understood when put into an internet search engine to determine the kinds of clays, sands or gravels they may hold. They're a good place to start and with a little use the colour coding becomes more familiar. But soils maps are not entirely reliable and even when it looks like the area is all London clay for instance or chalk or any other single material yet a site may sit on a prism of some other fraction not seen by the map. That's why sampling soil on site is so important. Sourcing soils for mass and light earth mixes used in Cobbauge can start with site investigation, materials extracted from other sites locally or quarries. It may also involve more familiar supply chains for things like sands and aggregates, although typically these will come at a higher price and substitutes using less clean materials may be considered. Soils from quarries also need sampling. Mostly quarry operators are only looking for high value materials and have no understanding of the nature or use of clay bound materials. So while a casual call to a quarry may establish its primary function of supplying sand or lime aggregates, a closer look may uncover a pile of washed clay or unwashed sands and gravels which have little or no commercial value and only the transport cost to pay. Part of the reduced cost and emissions for mass and light earth comes from its local availability. Finding materials at or close to site can be very rewarding in a number of ways. Low costs from extraction and transport, use of waste from other sites and simple transport costs from quarries supplying dirty and valueless materials.